Welcome back to my channel guys, 3P Kicks, and I'm back with another video. So today I'm doing a video that's been pretty requested lately. It is how to lace your Yeezy 350s. This works on either the V1s or V2s, but today I'm obviously just using the Belugas, but it works on any of them because they all have the same lacing system that just goes inside the shoe. But without any further ado, let's get it. So this is how the shoes come right out of the box. They come in this factory lace look. And this is actually the most common way I see people lace their 350s. So I'm just going to show you guys how to tie that factory lace look knot. So you're just going to take both sides out, make sure they're about the same length. And then the next step is to take both sides of the laces and wrap them around your finger. So make a loop right there. And then you're going to slip your index finger out of that hole but still make it that, that loop right there. As you guys can see, there's still a loop and you're gonna grab it with your other hand. Take both sides of the laces with your other hand. Then you're gonna tuck both sides through that loop. I'm trying to make that as visible as you guys can see. And then you're gonna pull it through that loop. And then after you do that, you can just adjust it however you want. You can pull it, make it smaller, or pull it the other way and make it bigger. Like I said guys, this is a super clean way of lacing them and it's not what I do, but it's the most common thing I see. If it's not broke, don't fix it. There's nothing wrong with leaving it like this. That way is nice, but the way I like to do it is the Lucy Goosey Hype Beast lacing. So you're gonna take the shoes, completely untie them, make sure they're like that, and then you're gonna pull the laces until there's a little bit left at the end. Make sure there's not too much, but this is about a good amount so it doesn't drag on the floor. And then you're gonna turn it around, do the same thing, just pull it loose. Make sure there's not too much left at the end, not too little either though. And then you just have these two big loops. So it's super simple, all you really have to do is just even it out throughout all the laces. So make sure it's even, or you can make it uneven, however you want. Just pull all the laces out however you would like until you have it how you would prefer. Some people like it to be up like that in the front, but I don't really like that. I like to pull it a little bit down. This is a really nice way of lacing them. Not a lot of people think that it's cool, but I really like it because it makes them the easiest to just slip on and walk out of the house with. It's super comfortable, and I just like the aesthetic of this look. It goes well with zipper pants and jeans and even joggers, but I don't really wear joggers that much, but it goes well with anything. Once again, this is just my preference. I'm not telling you guys or trying to force you to do anything. You guys can do it however you guys would like, but but this is just my preference. And now the third way of lacing your Yeezy 350s is just a tighter version of this. So if you guys don't like how loose and messy this is, then you see the lacing system right there, how the laces come inside the shoe. What you can actually do is take that little loop right there and you can pull the laces in. This creates a pocket on the inside and it makes it not as loose right here. I can show you. So as you guys can see, I'm pulling each of those loops in. They go all the way down the shoe, and you can just tighten it however much you would like. Just gonna do it all the way down. And then this is pretty much it. It's a way tighter version of the Lucy Goosey version, but the laces are still hanging out and they're not tied. I like this look, but I personally don't rock mine like this. This is a little bit more of like a classy version, it's not so messy. So those are the three ways, the factory lace look, the hype beast lacing, which is just this, but looser, and then the tighter version, which is a little bit more classy in a lot of people's opinion. So that's gonna pretty much do it on my tutorial on how to lace your Yeezy 350s. Like I said before, I really prefer the hype beast or loosey goosey style. I think it goes with the most stuff and it's the most comfortable. And also, like I said, this works on any 350, either the V1s or the V2s. But thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe, like, follow my Instagram, and hit that bell down below so you never miss a single video of mine. But thank you for watching. I'm out.